Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Hero Arts. Today I'm sharing a cheery card using the adorable new color layering cherries, as well as some tips and tricks for mass producing images with layering sets. So let's get started. First, I line up the four stamps from the color layering cherry set on my stamp positioner tool. I'm using a Misty here. Off camera, I used a scrap A2 panel to line up the different layers. Then I placed two A2 panels of Dove White Hero Hues cardstock in the top and bottom right corners of the Misty. I'm using Strawberry and Red Royal for the cherries and Fresh Lawn and Pine for the leaves and stems. I ink up each image with a different ink and then close the lid of my Misty and press firmly. Then I make sure my paper hasn't shifted, re-ink the images, and stamp again for a nice solid impression. Then I rotate each panel around. The stamps are already aligned to give me the next layer. So I ink each image again and stamp it twice. Then I switch the upper and lower panel. I eyeball it to make sure everything looks good and then I repeat the inking process. Finally, I rotate each panel again and stamp the final layer twice. This gives me four sets of cherry images that I can die cut with the coordinating dies. If you just need four cherries, this is an easy way to get them all stamped at once. But what if you need a lot more than that? When I die cut the cherries, I reserve the white cardstock that I die cut them from. If you needed to mass produce a lot of cherries after you stamp and die cut the first batch, you can place the leftover panel into the Misty and use that as a guide for your cherry stamping. To speed up the mass producing process, you can just die cut the cherry image with plain white cardstock and then puzzle piece the white die cut inside the leftover panel. Then you can easily repeat the stamping process without having to take the time to line up the die around the finished stamped image each time. Anyway, back to my card. I found some scraps of Hero Hues cardstock in Dove White, Peony, Cherry, and Cranberry and cut them into strips of varying widths. Then I arranged them in a diagonal on a panel of sand cardstock. I use a little temporary tape to line them up and make sure I'm happy with the order. Then I place the strips on the sand cardstock and put little pieces of temporary tape on the top and bottom to mark where I need to add adhesive. You could use liquid glue for these, but I find it a little easier and less messy to use a tape runner with thin strips. So I apply my tape runner and then adhere the strips of colored cardstock.
Once I'm done, I use my finger to lightly rub off any extra adhesive on the panel, remove the temporary tape, and then trim off the edges. Next, I prep a piece of pitch black cardstock with my powder tool and then stamp a sentiment from Color Layering Cherries with embossing and watermark ink and heat emboss it with white embossing powder. Off camera, I trim it down to a thin label. I adhere my sand cardstock panel to a top folding card base and then arrange the cherries and sentiment on my panel. I decided to die cut the cherries from pitch black cardstock to use as a shadow layer. It helps the red of the cherries pop a little better against the red cardstock strips. I adhere the sentiment and the cherries together with regular adhesive. Then I use foam mounting tape to add the cherries to the panel for a little extra dimension. And that's it! This is a fun way to use up your cardstock scraps and I love how nicely they pair with those Red Hero Arts inks. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on the Hero Arts blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Hero Arts channel for lots of crafty inspiration. Until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!